Hi, Coach. Uh, welcome to the post-match press conference. Uh, we have some questions from the media for you. Thank you. Uh, the first one is, uh, how much do you blame the result on lack of imagination in the final third tonight? Uh, phew, that's about the last thing I would blame it on. I'd blame it on poor decision-making in our defending. I'd, be, I'd blame it on not brave enough in the build-up play. I'd blame it on not keeping our balance and shape. Uh, I thought once we got into the final third, our movement was quite good. As the game gets further and further into the 90 minutes, the level of nervousness goes up and so you don't play with the same precision. That's also something, but lack of imagination in the final third, I would like, I would like to be able to criticise that, but I don't think we had it long enough in the final third to, to do that. Uh, next up, Coach, uh, the last win you got was a thrilling 4-2 win and it looked like you were set to spoil quite a few parties. Uh, what is keeping the team from repeating such a performance? Small things. I mean, if you want to look at this game, I mean, and again, I'm saying that an unbelievable decision by the referee to not give a penalty. Uh, we need one of, those one of those decisions to go our way. We've had lots that have gone against us. We've had, I think, six or seven penalties given against us for much less than we, we get every every time. So we need one of them to go away and maybe that will be what will push us over the edge again. But the goal that we gave away was also, we need to change that, we can't do that. So uh, the small things are having massive impacts on both our results and our season. Uh, Brad even made his debut for the club tonight. Uh, what do you make of his outing? Difficult for Brad coming in, such little preparation. Uh, if we can get him on the ball in the right areas, I'm sure he'll be an asset. He needs to work a little bit harder to get on the ball once he knows what we want. And uh, we need to understand him a little bit better. Uh, next up, Coach, uh, you had a loanee from the club make a huge impact for a team that uh, could be challenging for the title last night. Uh, did you keep an eye on Marcelino's performance? Uh, well, I watched the game, obviously, because we have ATK next next time up. Uh, did I keep an eye on Marcelino particularly? Not really. Uh, I know him quite well as a, as a player, so he didn't do anything in the game that, that surprised me. He scored a, scored a nice goal, and uh, I'm sure he's he's happy where he is. Uh, finally, Coach, uh, what, are, what are the realistic expectations from the final six games of the season? We... We are in every game. You, we haven't played a team over the last seven or eight games that we have not been able to beat. You know, we've we've run every team very, very close. And even this tonight could have been another one of those honourable 1-1 one, one draws. But we need to try and turn one of them into a win and see if that momentum will take us uh, somewhere in the, uh, in the closing stage of the season. I don't think that these lads are going to lie down. I won't lie down. I'll get over this the way the way we've been uh, getting over the other results, and we'll get back to work. And we we can promise the supporters of of Dish FC that we will give the the rest of the the rest of the season as uh, as good as we can.